Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight I'm going to be modifying my wife's car. It's a 2015 Ford uh, Explorer Limited. There's a couple features that I think are missing on this and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it step by step. Let's get into it. Okay, so just like I mentioned in the intro, uh, this is a 2015 Ford Explorer Limited. It has a couple features. Um, one that's really annoying. So let's say I'm out putting gas and my wife's in the car, the kid's in the car. It's Florida. Uh, you can see it's 9.15. It's October 12th right now. And it's 80, 83 degrees out. It's nighttime. So let's say I'm parked and I step out. I have the key in the car in my in my pocket. I step out, I close the door, and ah, the honk. It's really annoying, and I'm gonna program it. I'm gonna show you how I'm programming it. I'll do step by step. Another thing that I wanna show you how to do is with this button here, the mirrors will auto fold in, will fold in. But I have to press it each time. So it's not automatic. It doesn't do it when uh, the car turns off or lock the, lock the door or anything like that. I have to press the button on and off. So, so I'm, I want to try to program it. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, um, quite honestly. I know the horn I'll be able to do, but the side mirrors, I don't know. It you're gonna ride along with me and, and see how it works so but for sure let's try the horn all right let's get into it okay so in order to do this mod um you have to download this program called Forescan. so basically Forescan it's a software that could run on ios android and windows you could download it for free there is a license um, that you need in order to do some of the programs, uh, programming and hacks that I'm going to show you. So in addition to that, you you have to buy a OBD2 uh, with a USB cable. And there's specific ones. These are two that I'm going to try out. One was, I believe, $30 and the other one was $19 on Amazon. I'll include links in the description for you. I'm just going to test them out um, to see which one works best. Uh, if one works better than the other, I don't know. But I want you guys to see what the differences are between the $30 one and the $19 one. So first I'm going to show you the USB cable here. Um, so this is the first one. It's called Vent. Leave right. OBD2. Again, I'll put a link in the description and I'll show you where I'm connecting this to. So, see right here is the OBD2 connector. So, I'm just going to slide that in there. It has a switch and we'll leave it like that for now. And this and the USB and goes plugged into the laptop. So as I mentioned, there's a program called Forescan, and here it is, and here's the address. I'll put all the links in the description uh, to make it easy. So you want to go here what says products. And here you have the different options. So you have the iOS, you have the Android, and this is a Windows laptop, so I have the Windows version, the free one. So you're going to want to download it, but you also need to register, right? And you need to let me go back. Um, you need to register because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a license. So when you go to here, okay, 
this is a link and it talks about the different license and how to use the program um you're going to want to scroll here how to get a free two month uh extended license and you're going to go here and it's going to ask for your username and password so you're going to have to go unless you're already signed up you register and it takes about a few hours for them to verify your account um, it's not automatic uh, so you're going to register register yourself they're going to send a confirmation email and after that um, you'll be able to um, go in and um, they'll send you a license and you'll be able to use the program okay and let me show you the program now Right, so uh, before, just before we get into the actual program, I want to show you guys um, Google's your friend in this case. You can see I have a bunch of different tabs open. Um, I'm just Googling, you know, Ford Explorer 2015 and then what modification I want um, with the addition of Forescan. You can see there's a lot of different options, uh, not just for the Explorer. This is one for 2015 to 2019 F-150s. So um, there's a lot of things you could do. Just be careful with it because you don't want to mess something up. And I'll show you right now um, how to modify the code. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the car. And... There's the Forescan. Okay. Connect. It's connecting. Yep, that's my car. Alright. So, we're going to go down here right there configuration and programming and the one that I want I believe it is this one okay for the double honk so I'm gonna go there okay and this little play button here I'm gonna press it so it's gonna say yeah hit okay all right so so I found this master list uh, common settings so for the double honk um, because this is a model year e15 so it's 726 one six zero one and you see the little asterisk it says here change it to zero to disable it so I'm gonna go to four scan seven two six one six you can see there it's enabled because of that one and I'm going to change that to a zero I'm gonna press right and as soon as I press right I'm going to have this confirmation and when I hit yes you're going to see the lights on the dash uh, flicker and do some funky stuff and the lights outside so I'm going to hit yes and okay so I'm going to hit okay turn off the ignition all right turn it back on should work with a double honk. I'm gonna exit the vehicle, my key in the pocket, and no double honk. So now let's see if I could get the side mirrors to auto fold in. Um, let's see. So, so in order to get the 
auto fold mirrors to work. I need to, this needs to say DDM and um, PDM. So uh, driver uh, door module or something like that um, and passenger door module. So as you can see, there is no DDM and PDM. So this is not going to work. What I'm gonna do now is, because I was using um, that, uh, that module or that doohickey, OBD2, I'm gonna switch it over now and use this one and see if this works any, any better. So here you have the ELM config. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it into the OBD2. Let's see, it lights up. Connect it into the laptop. Soldering up the device, let's give it a minute. Go ahead and click connect, hit OK. Going to hit confirm, yes. Go into modules. So it's not there. So I will not be able to um, change it. Now I will tell you this. So there is a shit ton of settings that you could go ahead and play with. So um, everything from similar to the infinity where you could all auto roll down your, your windows um, there's a setting on here, so, you know, play around with it, uh, do some research before you buy it. Um, so far, so good. I like it. It's worth the $18, uh, in my opinion, at least if you're going to program a couple features to it. So, um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I'll be doing videos on the G37 Ford Explorer and the 20, uh, 2000 F-150. So uh, please subscribe to the channel if you thought this video or the other ones were helpful. Appreciate all the love and support, guys. Peace out. Thanks.